Today I will be talking about ancient weapons that made our species superior to all others. So over the long course of human evolution, we have made some pretty cool things. I want to shed more light on what got us here. Without these weapons, we would have never survived the ancient landscape we came to inherit. Homo sapiens left Africa approximately 300,000 years ago. We would adventure to nearly every part of the globe, and we were met with the world's harshest beasts. Ancient beasts like the short-faced bear, saber-toothed cats, and packs of hyenas. So now I'm going to talk about the weapons that got us here. Spears have been made by almost every culture around the world. They can be used to throw out large game or used to defend yourself against a pack of wolves. Some cultures just sharpened wooden tips, but others took it a step further. By adding a flint or obsidian tip, the spear could kill any large game. The tips could be even sharper than modern day scalpel blades. Overall, the spear was a really good multi-purpose tool that was used for defense and attack on many animals. You could kill a deer, a bear, a mammoth, the possibilities are endless. Bows are an excellent tool for hunting, capable of shooting a projectile fast and far. These weapons can have an array of tips, wood, poison, bone, and stone. Most people assume that these weapons are old and out of date, but a YouTuber called Hunt Primitive has shown that these weapons are still very capable of large game. As you can see, he killed an elk with an ancient style bow and a stone tip. Overall, I think the bow is the best ancient hunting tool, combined range and also fast fire rates. The atlatl is often called the spear thrower because it's just that. It provides more leverage to throw long darts. This le weapon let early humans throw spears harder and faster. With the stone tip, this weapon could kill large games such as elk or even mammoth. I see this weapon as more of a primitive form of the bow and arrow, but very capable still. Those three weapons are the main ones that we use to hunt around the world. Now I'm just going to talk about some other ones that were not as popular, but still very capable. The sling has existed since the dawn of time. It used medium-sized rocks to kill game and people with blunt trauma. These weapons are very hard to master. I've used one for a few weeks now and I still couldn't hit any game if I tried. This weapon system is really inexpensive and easy to make. The boomerang is a blunt force weapon that can hit an animal accurate at long ranges. This weapon is a lot less common and an underrated system, honestly. The most skilled hunters in Australia can kill a red kangaroo with one throw. It's pretty impressive considering that a red kangaroo could be the same size as a small deer. In the jungle, most of these systems won't work. There's too many leaves and trees that the projectiles would get stuck on. This is where the blow dart comes into play. The blow dart can hit targets in the trees and just bypass foliage. With poison darts, it can kill game as big as monkeys. A lot of tribes in the Amazon use it, but it's kind of an unpopular weapon, which I think it really shouldn't be. So those were most of the weapons that were used in the Stone Age and some to modern day. Keep in mind I left out weapons such as axes, knives, and clubs because no one really hunted with them, they are more usually used for war. These weapons were very important. With these technologies, humans could take over the world and kill any game they needed to survive. I hope you guys liked this video. I plan on uploading fairly often, so subscribe to see more.